What's up, everybody? So, I actually have a serious question. <laughs> and um, I want you to think about it. But I want you to answer in the comments. Like, have you ever got so wrapped up in how you feel that it has affected your finances? Be honest. <laughs> no, seriously, y'all let me know in the comments. Have you ever allowed your feelings to affect your finances and I mean this could go like all different ways like you could have a positive experience where you uh, experienced a feeling that made you do something to actually improve your finances that's a that's a different like spin on things or have you ever had like a not so positive feeling that affected your finances guys let us know in the comments and i'm not gonna say that feelings affecting your finances is necessarily a bad thing because like we said it could be a positive or negative feeling that actually had a positive result on your finances i think i'm kind of like experiencing that one which is a good thing right there where um, my finances is positively being affected by a I'm gonna say a neutral feeling or bad feeling I don't know if we can call it bad I don't know I'm grieving right now so I think my pop my finances are being positively affected by my grieving process because I just choose to stay focused and waddle in my sorrow if that makes any sense but guys there has been times where my finances have been negatively impacted because of my feelings because I became like irrational and you know maybe decided not to focus on my finances or for that day or for that moment or for that season and um, let me know have that ever happened to you have you ever just got upset and was like forget it I'm quitting this job but you didn't have <laughs> but you didn't have another one lined up are you like you know I, I, I'm not working today I'm so mad I'm I'm not going to work today you ever been like that guys I have um and uh, it's not a good feeling. Actually, it might even feel good in the moment because, like, it's almost like you may be taking pressure off of yourself, but you're like maybe trading one pressure for another. I hope that makes sense. But um, guys, we got we, we gotta we got to work on that, right? Um, any tips? <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you have tips about like controlling yourself so you can like get through your goal for the day for the for the week for the month for that season even though you're financial i mean you're even though you're emotionally stirred up um and i'm not gonna even just say this is like a problem that maybe more uh women may have i think it's a problem that even men have i've seen men like just kind of like put their hands up because they're emotionally stirred up and it's something that we have to work on guys and um i just wanted to make a call to action like of awareness that sometimes your feelings affect your finances and it may not always be for the positive and most of the time it may be not even it may be not even for the positive maybe most of the time when your or our or even my feelings are affecting my finances it may not be um, a positive reaction or response to the negative emotion you know because I mean, we all got to kind of like work work to live or some of us don't have to work to live. And, you know, kudos to you. <laughs> Let me know what you do to not have to work to live. 
or what, what your what your people or your parents have done to set you up on a lifestyle to where you don't necessarily have to work to live let me know in the comments guys I, i'm very interested <laughs> I'm very, I'm very interested um, in like if you like literally can take care of yourself without having to actively work. I'm very, very interested, and I want to know if it's, is it like passive income that you've set up for yourself, or did someone set you up to uh, be able to live such a, a luxurious lifestyle? But um, most of us have to work to live, and like when we're working to live, it's like we have to be in like. We don't have to be in a good headspace, but we definitely have to discipline ourselves to like keep going, even though we are not in a, a good headspace, if that makes any sense. So if y'all have any tips on that, because I'm not going to say it's something that I'm struggling with. I'm just going to say it's something that I'm aware of uh, to where like my feelings are stirred up, even impulsively. And next thing you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, um, you know, go to look. I don't want to go to work. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, that has been my story a few times. And I wish that it was not. Uh, and I'm working on, like, being able to control myself when I'm under these type of, like, impulses and stuff like that. And um, I'm actually doing pretty good as far as you know doing that but guys it's a challenge it's a challenge and i want to challenge you guys to like not allow that to happen as much as you can actually control it so let me know if you guys accept the challenge because it's something that we can both we can all kind of like be um vulnerable and like transparent on and see how we're improving like we can literally come back with a uh a update or a like a check where we're checking each other and like maybe maybe we can do like a a 30-day check like has it improved and things like that so guys if you would be like open to that um let me know in the comments um now, like I was saying, I'm kind of like in the grieving process and my feelings are actually affecting my, my finances positively because I just, I really just feel like working. I do. I feel like working. Maybe it's a way to deflect on what I'm dealing with. Also, it's a way to help me like deal with some of the things that I have to deal with financially. So like, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like working on my behalf um, or whatever, and I want to get so focused towards this last quarter of the year, guys. I, I really want to be very, very, very focused. Um, there's some goals that I'm after, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of missing my goals. I'm tired of missing my mark. I'm tired of, like, resetting the goal. <laughs> like, I'm, I want to live up to the, for, to the goals that I have, and I'm going to have to check myself, check my feelings, check myself when I'm checking out uh, and just kind of stay in the game, guys. And I just I want to challenge us all to like stay in the game in this final quarter of the year. Stay in the game no matter what is happening. Like if we can actually um, if we can do it, then let's do it. If it's out of our control, then, you know, we don't have to, like, obsess about things that we cannot control. But if we can control it, if we can literally stay in the game and stay in the game at a strong, high level, then I want to challenge you guys to do that with me. And let's grow from what we are going through. Let's grow through it in this last quarter of the year so like y'all let me know if y'all with me in this comments because i mean even if you're not i am challenging myself to to grow through what i'm going through and um you know like my biggest competition is the one that's in the mirror and uh we gonna get we gonna get we gonna get her together okay so 
anyway if y'all like this video like the video it lets, it lets us know that you may want to uh, see more content like this this video is going in our controversial topics playlist um, also if you guys want to be a part of our channel we are growing how big we're gonna grow only God knows um, y'all can subscribe to the channel and then if you want to get a notification every time we drop content there should be a bell it looks like a bell somewhere around the page click that bell notification button and every time we drop a video you will be notified i'm gonna see you guys on the next video